Hey everybody and welcome to day six of our workouts together. Um, I got a little bit of a late start this morning. Sorry, I got a little bit of a late start because I have an automatic alarm on my phone for the weekdays and I forgot to reset it for the weekends. So for those of you who are ready to go at 5 a.m. with me, I am truly sorry and I hope you are still on and still ready to kick butt with me today. So yes, it is the weekend, and yes, I am still up early to get my workout in, because for me, I know if I don't, one, I'm way less likely to get it in, uh, because sometimes the day just gets away from you, right? You know, we're moms, and, and sometimes your kids are not going to let you work out, or they're going to climb all over you when you try to, or, you, you know, you start doing this, you start doing that, and you get distracted, and pretty soon it's the evening, and then you're going to bed, and you haven't gotten it in. Or for me, it sort of hangs over my head all day, like, you haven't worked out, you haven't worked out, you haven't worked out. So I'm still up, it's Saturday morning, we're getting our workout in, and it's gonna make you feel so much better. All right, so today I have um, a fun 30 minute full body workout, and then we're gonna do 10 minutes of abs. So you need two sets of weights for this workout, um, a light set of weights and a heavy set of weights. And that, um, how much those are gonna weigh, totally depends on your strength. So they could be three and five pounds, it could be five and 10 pounds, it could be eight and 12 pounds. Totally up to you, or they could be no weights at all. That is also totally fine. Just do what you can, stick with me, and just aim to be better today than you were yesterday. All right, and we are going to start with a quick warm up. Make sure I don't sip on my cat back here. <laughs> and we will get started. All right, Ooh. sorry, just quick jogging in place. Get those muscles warmed up. Here we go. Just really quick little two minute workout. I mean, sorry, two minute warm up, not a two minute workout. They have not perfected how to get results in two minutes yet. That would be pretty crazy if they could. All right. And step back, open up the chest. So right now in this warm-up, I want you to set your intentions, roll your shoulders, set your intentions for the workout. Focus your mind. For the next 30 minutes, you are going to push. Don't think about the rest of the day. Don't think about what you did tomorrow. Don't think about rocking to the side what you have to do later in the day. Today you are here, right now, with me for the next 30 minutes. All right, you're gonna stretch. Step forward, twist, over, and back. Forwards, you're twisting over the forward leg. Step, twist, and back. Lunge, twist. Remember keeping your abs in and you're twisting over the forward leg. Now, tap, tap it across. So you're lifting this leg from the lower abs and tapping. Okay, are you ready, are you warm? Oh, excuse me. All right, round one, you're gonna pick up your light weight. Okay, so I'm using fives for this one. You have your palms facing forward. You're gonna do a curtsy lunge and raise your hands up at the same time. And then other side. Ready? Here we go. Oh, and I apologize. We're sticking on one leg here. So we're on our left leg, right leg going back. Sorry about that. Now, if you need to modify, don't step as far back. You can just go to here. Totally fine, okay? And drop the weights. So you're stepping back and across and arms are going up. Remember, you keep your hips forward the whole time. Don't let them open up like this. Now keep that hip turned in. 
Five seconds left. I know your shoulders are burning. Woo. Okay. Shake them out a little bit. And we're going on to the next move. Okay, so same position. Now we're stepping back with the opposite leg. So step back and tap. Back, tap. So as you go back, your hands are going up, keeping the palms facing forward the whole time. So you're gonna be feeling this in your shoulders. You're gonna be feeling this in the side of your booty and your inner and outer thighs. Here we go, we're halfway there, 30 seconds. So remember, if you need to modify, just don't go as low in the lunge and drop the weights. But keep moving. Whatever you do, keep moving, don't stop. You got this, we got 15 seconds left. I know, shoulders are on fire, heart rate's already up. Whew. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Whew, okay, we got a 15 second break before our next move. So deep breaths in, deep breaths out. All right, what we're doing is a squat with an overhead press. So weights are here by the shoulders, Palms facing each other. You're gonna squat all the way down, lift it up. Ready? Three, two, one. Squat down, press. Down, press. Down, press. So, if you can, get your legs parallel. Down, press. So your booty is going back behind you and down like you're gonna sit in a chair. If you need to modify, just don't go as low in that squat. See that? But if you can, get your booty all the way down and raise the arms up. As you get tired, you can use that momentum to help get your arms up, down, up. 30 seconds, two, one. Woo! All right, quick sip of water. And we're going back to the top with the half moon curtsy lunge. Okay, here we go, stepping back with the right leg. Lunge, tap, lunge, So this sequence, as you can tell, we are really working the shoulders. We all want those sexy shoulders this summer, right ladies? We got tank tops coming up. This is gonna sculpt those shoulders. Now if you're modifying, no weights. And a little step back, right? You don't need to go as low. You're still gonna be working. But if you can, keep those weights, get that back knee as low as it can go. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, get one more in, one. Ooh, all right, roll those shoulders out and we're gonna go to the other side. I know they're on fire. Ooh. Here we go, three, two, one. Stepping back now with the left leg, going behind. Now, I want these, your arms to be controlled. We're not flinging them up there and letting them fall, right? Every movement is controlled. Up, down, up, down. Now remember, modifying, there is no shame in modifying you guys. When I started, I was 50 pounds heavier than I am now. I couldn't use weights. 
I couldn't do a push up. I couldn't do pretty much any of what I can do now. But I mo followed the modification. I showed up every day and I tried to just be a little better than I was last one the day before. And that's how you make change. It doesn't matter where you started. It only matters that you show up every day and you try your best. All right, back to that squat press. Three, two, one. Squat, press. Squat, press. Now, only go as low as your strength and your range of motion will allow. Remember the butt is going back and down. So a common thing is just go like this when you squat and your knees are coming forward. Uh-uh, you're gonna hurt yourself. Come back. Like you're gonna sit down in a chair. And then arms are going straight up overhead. Press, press. Remember to modify, drop the weights or use lighter weights. Eight seconds. Really squeeze that butt. Three, two, one. Whew. All right. Drop those weights. Take a quick stretch. We really hammer those shoulders. And watch your next move. You can use your light or heavy weights. We are going to do a push up with a row. Okay, so you're on your weights. In the push up, push up position, back flat. We're gonna do a push up and a row. Okay, ready? I know this one is tough, but you can do it. Here we go. Back is flat. Three, two, one. Down, row. Down, row. Down, row. If you need to modify, get rid of the weights. Come onto your knees. Down and lift your hand up. Down, lift your hand up. Down, lift your hand up. Just remember, you're still keeping a flat back. Down, and you're rowing that weight into your chest. Last one. Woo! Okay. I know those are tough, guys. move you need one light weight holding it in your left hand you're gonna lunge to the right weight is gonna come over so palm is facing your shin step back as you bring the arm up so lunge and up you ready we're going to the right weight in your left hand three two one lunge lunge up. So make sure your booty is going back on that lunge and down. So you're going to feel this pull right behind your left shoulder blade. So keep that arm straight and across. If you're modifying, you can drop the weight, use a lighter weight, don't go as low. If you have a shoulder injury, Come here, down, here, down, here. That's gonna take some of the pressure off. But if you can, do the full sword pull across. All right, we've got 10 seconds left. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. 10 second break, we're gonna to go to the other side. So take the right weight in your right hand. Get ready to go to the left. Three, two, one. Left and open. So the lower you get in that side lunge, 
the more you're going to feel it in your booty. So you may have noticed in the workout today, we're using multiple body groups at the same time. That is because when you work your lower body and your upper body at the same time, you increase your heart rate like crazy because your body is having to work double hard to get blood to all of the muscle groups, which gets your heart rate up, which burns more calories, which allows us to get a super effective workout in only 30 minutes. There we go, 10 seconds left, guys. You're doing awesome. Keep that arm straight, rowing up. It's not going past your shoulder. Stopping right at the shoulder when it's in line with the body. All right. Whew. 10 second break. We're going back on the ground for push ups and rows. Okay. So you got your weights. Hang on, I'm going to move this just for a minute. So it's just a tad lower. There we go. All right. Ah, gotta step on your own weights. Here we go. Got your weights in push up position. Ready? Down, row. Down, row. Now get as low as you can. If you need to drop to your knees, totally fine. Drop to your knees. Down. Row. Down. Row. I don't know about you. Push-ups are definitely my nemesis. They're tough, right? So go down to your knees. You're still working the same muscle groups. Keep that butt tucked under. Down. Row. Down. Row. Five seconds down. Row. Down. Row. Woo. All right. Quick break. 10 second break. I'm going to move you back up here. Okay. And we're going back to the side lunge and sword pull. Only need one weight here. <laughs> okay, ready? Weight is in the right hand, lunging to the left. Now cross and open up. That's the last. Sorry. Other side. Weight is in the left hand, lunging to the right. There we go. So remember, if you need to modify, totally fine. Don't make the weight go as low. It can come right to here. And the cross. Or if you need to, row up this way. Do what you can do, but make sure you're always, always pushing yourself to do just a little bit more. Go a little further than you thought you could. Because it all starts in the mind. Yes, we are all physically capable of different levels according to our current fitness. But what I have found is we are so much more capable than we thought we could. All right, other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Weight is in the right hand, lunging to the left. So, when I'm doing a move, and I don't think I can last, I've found having a mantra, something that you say over and over again in your head, can help carry you through when you never thought you could. So find something that speaks to you. You know, my father was raised by a military, <laughs> ex-military Catholic man. So there was definitely not a whole lot of complaining allowed around him. And one thing he always told us is when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And that, always helps me in moments when I want to quit. Whew. Oops, sorry, <laughs> five seconds left. And last one. So find something that speaks to you. 
Take a quick break and we're going into round three. Okay, you're getting two weights, one in each hand. It's coming up to balance on your right leg. So left leg is back here. That, you're gonna let your left leg float back as your hands come down, up, and row. Float them back, up, and row. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. And row. Now if you need to, tap. You can tap here in the back and tap here. Tap, tap. But if you can, do the full moon. Move. So weights are following the leg. Just going straight down as that back leg floats up. So this balancing is awesome because it works your abs as well as your waist, your booty. And we're getting the shoulders in there too, just for added fun. Okay, five seconds left, floating down and up, down, up. Okay, quick break and we're gonna go to the other leg. Whew, shake it out. All right, set up, weight in the left leg, hands facing the body. Coming down, throwing the weights up. So the weights are just sliding down along your body as your back leg goes up. So really squeeze that booty in the supporting leg and the back leg. Now, like I said, if you needed to modify, you can tap back, tap here. If your balance isn't great, totally fine. Tap back, tap here. Do what you can. As Tony Horton likes to say, do your best and forget the rest. Now, in this supporting leg, you should have just a slight bend. So you don't want to be locking your knee. Just a very, very slight bend. And really pulling from the booty and the hamstring as you're coming up. And last one. All right. Quick break. And we'll go into our next move. Okay, we are going to have weights again. We're going to lunge forward on the right leg. Lunge forward. We're going to row. We're going to step back, bring the knee up, and curl. So forward lunge, row, step back, and curl. Ready? Three, two, one. Lunge. Row, back, curl, so sideways, lunge, row, back, curl, lunge. Now if you can keep this forward foot off of the ground, that's going to make it even harder. Row, back, but if you need to, tap in between and don't go as low. So tap, knee, row. Totally up to you and your balance. Woo! See, it's tough. As you get fatigued, balancing becomes harder. So be aware of that. Do your best. Row. Up. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a little cramp in that back calf muscle. Oh. Last one on this side. Row. Back. Up. All right. We're going to the other leg. So this time, left leg is coming forward. Three, two, one. Lunge. Row. Up. Back. So again, working all body parts so we can get basically double. Because if we just stood here and did rows and bicep curls, Sure, it was going to work your arms a little bit, but you're not going to get the heart rate up. And we want the heart rate up because we want to burn calories. We want to burn that fat off of all of our wasted. <laughs> so 
So we do that in our workouts, and we do that by sticking with the meal plan that I gave you guys. Five seconds left. Almost done. And done. Okay. Quick sip of water, guys. Remember, stay hydrated. You need to quick stretch of the calves. And we're going back to that squat with an upright row. I'm gonna to switch to heavier weights here on the right leg, palms facing a leg, down and up, down, up. So your front leg is standing firm, right? Weight is in the heel, palms are going straight down along the body, and when you row up, squeeze the booty on the supporting leg. If you need to, tap with the opposite leg. So when you come up, the pole is coming from your shoulders. It's not coming from your wrist. Whoop. It's coming from your shoulders. Oh. And last one. Okay, switch to the other leg. So we're going to our left now, weight on the left and the left heel. And palms facing the body, going down as the back leg floats back and row it up. Down, ah, row it up. Back leg floating back and up. Down, up. You guys are doing woo, awesome. Now, remember, like I said, that pole is coming from the shoulders, not from the wrists. So don't bend with your wrists at the top. That's too much weight for your wrists. Back, down. So if you're modifying, don't go as low. Use lighter weights or no weights. Do what you can do to push for the full minute. Five seconds left. Booty should be on fire. Ugh. And shoulders too. And done. All right. Going to that front lunge with the upright row. Back to the curl. Stepping forward on the right leg. Three, two, one. Lunge, row, back, curl. Lunge, row, back, curl. 40 seconds left. I know you guys are probably really sore by now, but I am so proud of you for sticking with it. We're working out on a Saturday. Right? When was the last time you worked out on a Saturday? Ugh. Most people are really great during the week because the structure of our weekdays can really help keep us structured, right? Especially if you work a nine to five. Okay, other leg, shake it out for a minute and we're gonna step forward to the left. Three, two, one, lunge. So, especially if you have children in school, your work full time, you have a routine, right? And that routine helps you stay focused in all areas of your life, such as with your health, your fitness, your workout, your nutrition. You know what the work week looks like. You know when you're gonna fit your workout in you know when you're going to eat. Then we can get to the weekend and we want everything to relax and to be easy and not to have to think about things. Oh. So then we in turn relax with our fitness and with our nutrition. And let me tell you guys, 
you can easily blow a whole week's of hard work in one weekend. Don't do it. Stay strong. Yes, you want to relax over the weekend, of course. I'm not telling you not to, but I'm just telling you so you can be aware and you can plan for it. Okay, quick sip of water. We have one last round, and then we're gonna go into abs. Okay, this move is crazy. I can usually only do a couple of them, but it's super fun to challenge yourself, okay? So I'm gonna bring you down because it's going on to the mat. Good morning, Adriana. Hi, Tammy. So awesome to see you guys in here with me. Hopefully you are just as sweaty as I am. All right, sorry, shaky camera. Just wanna get you down here so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay. Ah. I don't know why my camera is not loving me this morning. Okay, here we go. So what's our move? So you're down here, you're in a plank position, okay? You're gonna take your right arm up, out to the side, left leg up, and you're gonna crunch across, and out, and crunch, and out. I know, did you just look at me and go WTF? No way, I know, it's crazy. Try one, try two, you'll be surprised at what you really are capable of. Okay, here we go. You can do this. So up into plank. Raise the right arm up, left leg out, and in. See if you can just get one. And tap when you need to. It's tough, right? Elbows going into knee and out. need to modify, stay in a plank and bring your right leg across, out, in, across, out, in, okay? But see what you can do. You're going to find you're going to be stronger on one side than the other, okay? But just keep trying. Even if it's wobbly, even if you can do one and take a break like I'm doing, you're still getting it in. Okay. There we go. All right, we're gonna cool down and then we're gonna go into 10 minutes of abs. Woo! So come down into child's pose. Drop your head. Go to the right. And walk your hands over to the left. And come up to a seated position. Legs straight out in front of you. And stretch over the toes. If you can grab your toes, awesome. If you can't, no worries. Just go as low as you can. Side cross the feet. Right arm across the chest. Left leg over. We're gonna stretch those shoulders. Mm -hmm. They definitely worked today. Whew. That first round, man, that tortures your shoulders. All right, one minute left of this cool down, and we're going into ten minutes of abs. It's gonna be awesome. Whew. Other arm. Clasp the hands behind the back. Pull down and open that chest. Oh, that feels good. Okay, come standing. And you're gonna grab the right leg with the right hand. Just stretch out those quads. If you need to grab onto a chair or a friend 
for balance. Totally fine. Just stretching out. Now, deep breath in. Stretch the arms up and out. Way to go, guys. I am so proud of you for sticking with me for these 30 minutes. I hope you are as sweaty as I am. And I'm gonna grab my notes and we're gonna move right into abs. So don't go away. All right, who's here with me? Huh? Who's still working out? Hi, see Adriana said she's doing cardio. Good for you, girl. Way to make it awesome Saturday. All right, ladies. We are going into abs. All right, so we are going into, onto our back. If you want to grab a weight, make it harder, you can grab a weight. Oof, I'm gonna grab 10. Here, you're gonna come onto your back. Knees are up, crunching up and down. The weight's just staying over your chest. So ready? Three, two, one. Crunch up and down. So the weight's not moving, it's just there Oof. to make it a little bit harder. So if you don't want to do that, no problem. Just do it without the weight. 30 more seconds. So, same rules of a regular crunch apply. Don't strain your neck. Eyes straight ahead, looking at the ceiling. Don't worry, I'm doing the same thing you are. Crunch up and down. Up, down. Really press that lower back into the floor as you crunch up. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. Next move. You're going to take, stay in the back. Knees are coming up to 90 degree angle. You're going to keep that weight. Okay. And you're going to drop your knees to the right and up and to the left and up. Ready? Three, two, one. Right and up, left and up. So try to keep your upper body stable. If you need a little bit of help, you can keep your, put your arms out to the side. That's gonna make it a little bit easier on you to get your arms up or to get your knees up. Here we go. But if you can, hold that weight. Good morning, Gwen. One of my daughters just woke up. Hey, sweetie. Here we go. Drop it to the left and up. Down and up. Got 10 seconds left. So you should really feel this pulling in your obliques, side of your body. And rest. All right, next move. Coming up, legs are in front of you. You're gonna have one weight in both hands. You're gonna arch your back, curl your back into that C position. And you're gonna stretch back and up, switch the weight to the other hand, reach back and forward. Ready? Three, two, I'm gonna turn around this way so I don't <laughs> bonk my dot. All right, here we go. Open, close. Open, close. Remember, keep that C curve in your back. So you're back in that position the whole time. You're not coming up, you're holding that position. Really pull those abs in. The lower you go back, the harder it's going to be. If you need to modify, you can drop the weight or not go as far back. 
Really feel that pull in your abs. Five seconds left. Last one. All right. Whew. Quick stretch forward. And we'll go into our next move. Okay, we're in a side plank on the elbow. Get a little bit further back here so you can see. Okay. Now you have your weight over your hip. Straight line from your elbow all the way back to your heels. And you're gonna raise it up and tap. Up and tap. Okay, you ready? 45 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up, tap, up, tap. Now, if you need to modify, drop this lower knee, keep the lower knee on the floor. And do more, need more than that, drop the weight. Totally fine. Do what you can. Beyond that, I know this is a tough move. You can hold here. Take the tap out of it, okay? But if you can, stack those feet, get all the way up, and tap. 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 10 seconds left. Tap. Five seconds. And done. Whew. Switch to the other side. I know these are tough. Uh, I think these must might be one of the hardest moves for me in the circuit. But doesn't mean we can't try, we can't do our best. We can't modify for a little bit, jump right back in. All right, here we go. Take your weight, stack it over your hips, and up, tap, up, tap, up. If you're finding you're having a hard time keeping your balance with this back feet, you can take the upper foot, put it in front of the other. Now it's gonna give you a little bit more stability in this position, or drop the bottom knee down, up, down, up. Just do what you need to do to really feel that in your core, okay? 10 seconds left. Five seconds. And done. Whew. All right, I am glad that one is done. Okay, we're coming back down onto our back. Hands are by the side, palms down, and legs are straight out. Let's see, back here. And we're crossing the legs over with each other. Turn this way so you can see that. Okay. We're coming down and up. All the way down and up. Down, just switching the feet back and forth and up. So only go as low as you can with keeping that lower back pressed against the floor. If you feel, once you feel it arching up, that's as low as you can go, okay? And then just go back up. Doing great, guys. Here we go, all the way down. And up. Five seconds left, down. And up. And done with that one. Just pull the knees into the chest, give it a quick, Stretch back. All right, next move. Coming up into plank position. You're gonna take your right arm out and you're gonna bring it under the opposite leg, opposite arm, excuse me, and across. You ready? Here we go. So open and across. Open and across. So your hand. Your eyes are following your hand as they go across. Now, if you need to modify, just here. 
Don't twist quite so much in your hips or come down onto your knees. That's fine too. Quick stretch back if you need to. You get right back to it. Just always keep going as best you can. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter's over here keeps trying to grab my hand as it comes across. And last one. Ooh, okay, we're gonna switch sides. Other side now. <laughs> here we are. Back in the plank. Take your left arm out and across. arm is right underneath your shoulder. Here we go. See, this is a real life, right? Oof, even when you wake up 5 a.m., sometimes you still get interrupted. It just happens. Okay, go ahead, let go. Ten seconds left. and 10 minutes of abs. You guys are awesome. Whew, wipe the sweat. Make sure that you guys are hydrating. Super, super, super important. So many people are dehydrated. Um, my sister is actually becoming a nutritional therapist right now, which is amazing. We're getting to learn so much from her. But what she's finding in her studies is that the majority of Americans are dehydrated and water in our bodies has to do with so many systems that a ton of people would be shocked at how much better they would feel, how much simply drinking more water every day would take care of a lot of the symptoms that they're having. So please make sure to stay hydrated. It's also a great idea to put a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt into your water. If you, um, if it's already super hot where you're living, especially those extra minerals, electrolytes can really help your body um, even process and assimilate the water even better that you're drinking. So if you don't have any, um, just pick some up. It's the pink salt. So it's pink Himalayan sea salt. That's the salt that actually still has all the great minerals in it that you need. So just put a little bit of that into your water. And another thing that I really like doing is putting fresh fruit and herbs in. So yesterday um, I did basil and strawberries and it was super good. Just put that in a jug, like a gallon jug, stick it in your fridge and drink that all day throughout the day. All right guys, it's the weekend. I'm gonna be posting a lot of stuff in the group today, tips about staying on track over the weekend. But you guys can do this, stay strong. Don't let the weekend get ahead of you. We're gonna push through, we're gonna make this weekend awesome. We have five days left of this challenge. I want you guys to go push at your hardest and see just what you can accomplish in 10 days. Thank you guys for watching this. Thank you for all of your awesome posts in the group and have a great, great day. Bye.